Gold DSP provides three layers of security when working within the system. The first is the username and password, which authenticates the user and grants access to the system. Next, from the user account, we can see the available roles in the security tab. These roles determine what actions the user is able to perform within the system and what functional data they can access. The last layer is the segregation code. Within Gold DSP, segregation codes provide data security. They determine where the user is authorized to work within the system and what data they can access. For example, if a base supports three units, each unit would have their own set code. A technician working in one unit would not have access to the other unit's information. On the other hand, if a wing commander, for example, would need to see what was going on within the three units, they would be granted access to all three seg codes. These three layers work together to determine who can access the system, what they can do within the system, and what information they can access within the system. From the home screen, the gray area on the top of the screen provides links to the different modules available in GoDSP. Clicking on a link will change the user desktop on the left-hand side and display the different functions available for that module. Clicking on the function from the user desktop will bring you to that screen. In this example, it will bring us to the work order desktop screen. Another way to navigate through Gold DSP is to use the quick navigation bars on the top left side of the screen. There are three dropdowns available. The first dropdown provides access to any screen that is related to an inquiry within Gold DSP. The next dropdown provides access to all screen used to set up information, such as the different codes available within Gold DSP. And the last dropdown provides access to the different processes available, such as creating a work order or transferring equipment. The middle section of the screen provides an area where different information can be displayed. This area can be modified to display information with different fonts, colors, and effects. For example, the system administrator could set up a notice informing users of when the next system backup will be taking place. On the right side of the screen, users can access the online help by typing in a word or phrase, and this will bring the user to the online help and display any information available about their query. The top tip section provides access to information that could be helpful for users. Here, we have a message that provides a brief explanation about set code profiles. And again, this section can be tailored by your system administrator. The next section provides links that can be set up to different websites such as customer support or other links within the system. And finally, certain screens within Gold DSP allow the user to save queries that can be accessed through links on the home screen. Gold DSP uses work orders to document maintenance being performed, labor hours, part requests, and other maintenance data. The work orders are generated from different templates called default work orders. Within the work order, the executive summary provides the estimated turnaround time and the actual turnaround time. If there is a trend that jobs are taking longer than expected, the default work order can easily be corrected to reflect the new estimated hours to complete the task. Gold DSP uses logical structures as templates for building any platform, whether it's an aircraft, tracked vehicle, or other platform. Tasks are assigned to the platform to track the master life and any scheduled maintenance. These tasks can be created to accommodate any type of interval. The system can create intervals based on days, weeks, months, or years, as well as numeric counts or hours. This flexibility allows Gold DSP to track things like calendar days, flight hours, rounds fired, landings, meter readings, or any other interval necessary to track lifing and scheduled maintenance. These tasks can then be tracked through the maintenance planning screen. Here, the system will display all scheduled maintenance coming up on a structure, as well as scheduled maintenance on any parts that are installed. It can also track scheduled maintenance on parts when they are uninstalled. Gold DSP provides an aircraft status board to quickly have an idea about the status of an aircraft or fleet. The top of the screen provides the current serviceability of the selected items. The status can be set to refresh manually or automatically every 30 seconds. The color-coded icons let you know the current status of the aircraft or platform. Green is fully mission capable, yellow is partial mission capable, and red is non-mission capable. The QA check icon is used to inform the user if any mandatory parts or tasks are missing from the aircraft. The tasks icon provides a visual notification for scheduled maintenance. The red icon means that there is overdue scheduled maintenance. Yellow means that maintenance is in the approved window 
and no icon means that there is no scheduled maintenance currently due. The system also provides hyperlinks to access any open work orders or work packages. The screen can easily be customized by each user. Each user is able to add and remove columns, rearrange columns, sort columns, and ungroup or group the status board. Any changes made to the status board only apply to the individual user and they can easily set it back to its default view. For a more detailed look at the aircraft, simply click the colored icon and this will bring the user to the item maintenance screen. From here, users are able to view and update information. The different tabs available provide information regarding things such as status, roles, software, supply, loans, and comments. Moving over to the logbook section on the left side, there are numerous hyperlinks that provide more information regarding the aircraft. For example, clicking open work order will display any open work orders associated with this particular aircraft. The other links provide more information for other aircraft data such as weight and balance, maintenance planning, and other data. Moving down to the related link section, provides links to the scheduled tasks associated with this aircraft and any master lives. The transaction history tracks all transactions on the aircraft beginning with the receipt of the aircraft. Users can also view the physical structure tree which is laid out similar to the logical structure but it also includes the actual serialized parts that are installed. The last update section shows who this item was created by and when. It also shows the last person to update the record and when it occurred. This last section cannot be edited. Finally, users may also upload different media such as pictures, PDFs, office documents, or hyperlinks to be associated with this item. The Item Compliance tab will display any engineering orders that are applicable to this aircraft and its status. When maintenance is being performed, work orders are used. In order to cut down on erroneous data, the system uses numerous drop-down menus so that users can select from valid data within the system. Gold DSP also uses default work orders, which are templates that contain many of the fields necessary to complete the work order already filled out. Work steps can be added that contain specific steps that must be performed during the completion of a specific task. Signature requirements can also be defined so that only users with the proper authorization or certifications are able to sign off work steps. The work order can display additional tasks part request, child work orders, and other related information. As displayed earlier, work orders can also track last updated information and allow users to upload digital media files. Business rules can be tailored to set other required fields so that users are unable to sign off the work order without completing a minimum amount of specified fields. Gold DSP uses a debrief to account for flights. The debrief will allow the user to track the appropriate hours from takeoff to landing. Here we can see that the takeoff time has been set to 6 a.m. and the landing time set to 7 a.m. As we go to the usage tab, we can see that the flight hours have automatically calculated to one hour. The engine hours will be entered manually by the user and here the user can either enter in one hour or provide the adjusted time in the engine interval to account for the extra time used before and after the flight. When working with tasks in Gold DSP, there are a few options when deciding how to set up dependencies. If we go to the Associations tab, tasks can be set up to associate other tasks. With each association, there are three different association types. In this example, if we select Claimed, every time we perform the 400-hour task, the test 100 task will be considered completed. If we select activate, whenever we perform the 400 hour task, this will activate the test 100 task. And by selecting deactivate, whenever we perform the 400 hour task, this will deactivate the test 100. Another option is to use the task cards tab. In this scenario, any work orders listed in the task cards tabs will be issued whenever we perform the 400 hour task. A default process can be created within Gold DSP that contains all the steps required to perform a specific maintenance action. Information from a technical manual can be placed into specific steps. In this example, task 149 for an engine removal contains five steps 
with specific instructions for the technician. We can open the step to see that it includes specific work centers, estimated labor hours, and other data fields. These steps can easily be edited, and steps can be added or removed in the future. Once a process is created, it can be added to a default work order so that the technician always has clear instructions for the work they are going to perform. It is also possible to include the actual tech manual as a PDF attached to the work order. If an item is physically transferred to a manufacturer or other location for maintenance, users can utilize the total asset visibility screen to see where their items are at all times. The manufacturer will not have visibility, but the users will see that the item is out of their custody and once informed about an estimated completion date, the item record can be updated to include the latest information. For quality assurance purposes, users can access Pentaho reports and all of the reports available within the different areas dealing with assets, materials, or work recording, just to name a few. Also within Gold ESP, much of the information users are looking for can be found through basic queries. In this example, if a user wanted to track the history of fault code 605, they could conduct a search from the work order desktop and search for that specific fault code. The results provide a direct link to the work order or the list of records presented on the screen can be exported into an Excel spreadsheet. 